Hi guys, in this class we have discussed about how you can insert a student in your database table. As you know that in the previous class we create a database and table and create a connection to our this database table. Now what I have to do, I have to insert a very first student to this table. For that reason, what I have to do, you can see that uh, table is created in which our data will be display. I am talking about this table. And you need a form. You have to create at first form to insert data in a table of database. So form is already created. Now what I have to do, I have to find this uh, form. <laughs> this is a form. You can see that. This is a form. I will use this form to insert data into database table. First name and last name. So each and everything is mentioned here. So in a form input field, this name attribute value is very important. So this value is used to fetch anything from this field. So you can see that when you provide anything else, you can get this value using this form name value. So this value is very important. You know, uh, when user enter in any field of the form, you have to get these values. These values you can get using this name attribute value. So you will be understand each and everything after the completion of this task when we insert a uh, very first student to database table so at the end i want to write here coding of php <laughs> php and then what i have to i want to say that so this is the uh, name attribute value of submit button i will say that if is set so you have used here a dollar underscore post and here you have to provide this value add std if this is is set when this one set set means when user click on this button then what i have to do i have to get all the values of this form when user click on this button when user click on this button I want to say that to get all this value, all these form field values. So what is the method to get? So dollar underscore post and here what you have to do. So I want to get value of this first field. So what is the method? Method is that to, this is a first field. So you have target its value, name attribute value and pass here in a quotation. So I want echo. When I echo, I will be able to see what is the result and what user inserted in this field. So very important point is that you have to provide here post method if you want to work with post. So you can also work with get method dollar underscore get. But I am discussing about post method because I provided value to this one post. And then refresh this one and then add new student. Sorry, I forget my spelling. Sorry, and you will see that Fasal Zamir here. Where is Fasal Zamir? But it should display <laughs> not displaying when user click on this button. First name, so you can see that. And the uh, model is displaying facile Zamir. So this is the method to get value of each field. So in this way, what you have to do, I will store that name field of that first name field. I will store in a variable app name. Same like I will get value of second field. So you will be able to see here its name is L name its name attribute value is l name then i will change to l name and its variable name should be same so i have provided all the uh, coding and uh, fetched all the field value using this post method for the father name email gender subject country city date of birth address 
and if you want to get picture uh, as user will uh, provide here a picture that is why I provided a file you can see that when user choose a file and provide any image so this image can be accessed using file method not post method dollar underscore files and pack picture and because this is in the form of array and picture key another key is name I want to get its name so temporary name I can also get using this line of code move uploaded file means I want to save that image in a folder so folder is a IMG I have folder uh, I want to create this folder IMG so I am talking about this IMG folder so inside that folder this picture name should be saved so that image I want to save in this image folder this is working move uploaded file here you have to provide a temporary name of uh, image so next step is that to insert this data to table of database so here you have to write query so query how you can write here already we have discussed in my SQL course so query is that insert into into table name table name is uh, std and here you have to provide column name column name and mention here values and here you have to provide values so what you have to do so this is the query so this is the table name and then these are the column name you can see these are the only column name uh, I provided here and these are the values in the quotation you have to mention app name l name all the variable so as user enter anything else uh, uh, in this field so using uh, name attribute value I am fetching that value store in that variable and then now these are the actual values of user enter and then I provided here in quotation all the values provided so what I do next to this is a query variable in which this query is stored now I want to run my scala underscore query as you have to provide a connection variable you can see at, at the top connection is stored in con variable and then my SQL I underscore query method take two parameter one is connection and there is a query this is a query if this query is run when this query is successfully run then what you have to do using a JavaScript code I want to say that you have to move to this file so I have to write here index.php I want to move to index.php file I want to move to same file so next what I have to do I have to refresh this one and add new student I want to check name is Faisal other name is Zamir Hassan email is this is a dummy email a mail and subject is for example computer country is Pakistan city is uh, Bharatpur and date of birth this is date of birth dummy date of birth not actually address you can point here address choose the file picture I want to set here this is picture and then when I click on this add button and uh, refresh this one data is not inserted I have to browse this one and data is inserted but uh, not displaying here why data is not displaying because I did not write code for fetching I write code for inserting record this uh, database table so in the next class I will show you how you can fetch these records so in this case there is one record when the card is reached to uh, many number so no limit you can access you can fetch this record to display to user in the form of table so I will show you in the next class how you can fetch database table record displayed in this form in this table so you can add more student for example the free Ali this uh, father name and email is any dumb email I provided here 
mail and this is subject math countries for example other you can write city you can write any and then this is date of birth uh, address you can put here any picture and add when uh, browse this one other record is also displaying here now I want to open this image folder you can see that image are storing here so uh, this is the method to get value from the field uh, using uh, name attribute value and using a uh, del underscore post uh, you can access that value using php and store in a variable this is the query that used to insert uh, form data to table of database so in the next class we will discuss how you can select this record fetch this record to display in this table form